Start with finding out which model thumbsticks your Steam Deck has, so you can purchase the correct sticks. There are two types, Type A and Type B. Press the Steam button, scroll to the Settings menu and press A. Head to System, go down to Steam Deck Controller ID. The beginning of your ID will tell you which sticks you have. MEDA is Type A and MHDA is Type B. Remove the SD card. Remove the 8 screws from the back plate. Use a spudger, wedge it between the R1 bumper and the back plate, and then twist down the spine to release the clips. On the right stick with the spudger, lift the black ZIF connector up. Pull on the blue tab of the ribbon cable until it's removed from the connector. Remove the three screws. Take out the right stick. On the left stick with the spudger, lift the black ZIF connector up. Pull on the blue tab of the ribbon cable until it's removed from the connector. Remove the three screws. Take out the left stick. Take a spudger and lift the ribbon cable up and drop in the new left stick. Make sure the L is facing north. Install the three screws. Slot in the ribbon cable and press down on the ZIF connector. Note the ribbon cable is seated correctly when the white line is directly under the closed ZIF connector. Take a spudger and lift the ribbon cable up and drop in the new right stick. Make sure the R is facing north. Install the three screws. Slot in the ribbon cable and press down on the ZIF connector. Note the ribbon cable is seated correctly when the white line is directly under the closed ZIF connector. Place the back plate on the Steam Deck and gently add pressure until you hear and feel the clips fasten. Install the eight back plate screws. Let's configure dead zones on the new thumbsticks. Press the Steam button, go to the settings menu, scroll down and enter the controller menu, go down and enter the calibration and advanced setting. Navigate to joysticks and press Y. I recommend grazing the top of the thumbstick left then right and letting the thumbstick spring back into its default position. You are not moving the thumbstick in a sense of triggering the mechanism. You are analyzing to see how much play the stick has from any rest direction. The goal is to have the smallest dead zone boundary without the white dot going outside of it. Use the left and right D-pad buttons to make the dead zone boundary larger or smaller. When finished, press the Y button, then tap R1. Repeat the previous process. Keep in mind about grazing the top of the thumbstick and letting it spring back to get an accurate dead zone, like I mentioned before. Like and subscribe if I helped you out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.